Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and I'm doing another foundation demo and wear test. Man, I've been on a roll with these. I hadn't found any foundations I was interested in in a while and now I have suddenly several of them. Today we're talking about this one. This is the newest foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their Luminous Foundation. I have very dry skin. I'm also in my mid-30s so I'm sort of getting more fine lines and wrinkles, more kind of dullness, and that's just normal with aging. I'm not upset about it. I don't think you should be upset about it either. So the point of that is anytime I hear luminous, dewy, hydrating, glowy, I just, I'm listening. My little ears perk up. So when I heard that Anastasia was releasing a luminous foundation, I knew that I had to get my hands on it. I ordered this during the Sephora VIB sale. This is priced at 38 US dollars. There are 50 shades. Thank you, Anastasia. I use the shade 200W. I feel like this is a perfect match for me. Typically, I like neutral undertones, but if I'm going to lean one way or the other, I do like to go a little bit more towards the warm tones, especially now since I've had a tan. Once I tan, I do look a little bit more golden, as golden as this pale little porcelain girl can be. I used the Sephora shade matching tool and that's what led me to the shade and I feel like it matches me really perfectly. So I'm very happy with how my shade match turned out. I will show you a demo so you can see everything going on. First, let's just take a look at some product details. There is one fluid ounce of foundation in here. That's pretty standard for liquid foundations. The bottle is glass, but the lid is plastic. On the flip side, we have this huge <laughs> label that just says foundation, like thank you, we know, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> the cap just pops off and we have a pump, yay! Insert the little standard like cheering noise that all YouTubers use. My experience using the little pump mechanism, it actually is really good. You know, sometimes it can be hit or miss when you try to pump out the product, it like just sprays a whole glob out. This actually dispenses really slowly. You can just dispense a little bit at a time, so you can use just a little bit. You can really control the flow of product. I am really happy about the way that this pump works. I know it's a small detail, but it's definitely an important one for me. Some days I really wanna layer up and do more coverage, and other days, especially with a luminous foundation, I just want a little tiny bit. So, you know, I like that I can control that product that way. Let's go ahead and see a demo of me applying this foundation, and I am gonna show you check-ins throughout the day as well, but first let's just see what this looks like applied. Starting off by showing you my completely bare face. I don't have any primer or anything. I just did my skincare this morning. So here's what I look like. Want you to have a good before picture. I decided to apply this foundation just to one side of my face first. That way you can really get a good side by side. Just pumped out a little bit of foundation, dabbed it on with my fingers, and then blend it out with a damp sponge. The sponge that I'm using is the one from L'Oreal. So here's a quick little side-by-side -side of one layer of the foundation with absolutely bare face. Of course, I had to go back and even out, make sure I have one even layer all over the skin. Exact same method, just dabbing on with my fingers and then blending out with this damp sponge. Here's a close-up of the foundation, just one layer, just foundation all over my skin. Really, really happy with the finish on this. I think it looks super natural, very, very skin-like. I was curious to see how this foundation built up, so I decided to add a little bit more foundation in areas where I wanted a little bit more coverage. Just dab that on again, blend it out with that damp sponge. This layered beautifully. It did not get cakey. It did not start pulling up that already dried foundation underneath. 
This is definitely a great layering foundation. So here is what that looks like after layering the foundation a little bit. All right, now you've seen the demo. I am gonna show you some check-ins throughout the day and then we'll wrap up everything at the end of the day. Clearly I have finished my makeup now. I've actually been wearing this makeup for a couple hours. Almost four hours I've been wearing this foundation. So let's check in almost four hours of wear and see how this luminous foundation looks. I've not been doing any touch-ups at all. I just put a tiny bit of bronzer and blush on. I didn't want to cover up the foundation too much. So let's see. Let's get real close. Let's get all up in there. Okay, it does look like it's broken up just a little bit on my nose. My nose is a big problem area for me. It's not really like caking up in my little nose lines though, but my like cheeks look flawless. Am I delusional here? Like this looks really beautiful. I always get a little like foundation built up in this little wrinkle line here. It's I'm about to turn 34, like I have forehead wrinkles, it's fine. Usually I have a lot of like dry flakiness in this area between my brows, but I think, I mean this looks, this literally looks like skin, does it not? Am I crazy? It does look maybe a little bit dry in this region right here, but honestly not really bad at all. I don't know, I think it looks great. Okay, it's time for my final check-in. I've now been wearing this foundation for over six hours. You know, I think that dryness around my chin got a little bit worse. I don't think it looks bad from far away when you're like up in my face with an HD camera maybe, but it's not that bad. I think my cheeks still look really beautiful. Looks like it wore off a little bit right here. Oh, and I was on the phone earlier, so I bet my phone took some of that off. Oh boy, you really can see everything, can't you? <laughs> Fun. Overall, I think it looks really good. I do think I'm starting to look a little shiny here in the center of the forehead. Normally, I would have powdered a little bit like halfway through the day, but since I was doing a wear test, I didn't do that. So I think just a little bit of powder and I would be fine there. I think the majority of my face looks really, really nice. I'm not like all gunked up around my nose here, which is a very common problem for me. Other than this little dryness on my chin, which, you know, I have dry skin, like that's the thing. It looks pretty good. I think it looks good. Okay, I am back with my end of the day thoughts. You've seen all my check-ins from applying this all the way to the end of the day here. Did end up wearing this for a little over six hours. And all in all, I am very happy with how this wore. In the future, when I'm not demonstrating this foundation, when I'm not wear testing it, I probably will put just a little bit of powder on top because of this spot right here where I can see I answered the phone earlier and it did pull off some of my foundation. Normally I don't have that issue, but normally I do put just a little bit of powder on top. So that's something that I'm gonna do in the future. I don't think that's specific to this foundation. That's just kind of the nature of putting cream and liquid products on your face. They can tend to like smudge off or transfer off. My overall skin I think looks really, really beautiful. Of course you can notice all the like little flaws and kind of nitpick those things when you're super zoomed in with an HD camera. But in general, I do think that this wore really well. I think it looks really, really beautiful, really natural. I'm not even wearing a highlighter today. I'm just wearing bronzer and blush. And I think I have like a natural dewiness to my skin that's coming from this foundation. I am very happy with this. I am absolutely gonna keep wearing this, keep testing it and pairing it with different powders and primers. So I'll let you know how that goes. I'm also gonna be using this with the ABH Dewy Set, which is my favorite setting spray. So keep an eye out. If it ends up working out really well, it'll be in my monthly favorites, so. Now's the time when I wanna hear what you think about this foundation. What is your skin type? What kind of foundations do you like? Is this on your radar? Leave it down in the comments. I always love to hear what you think about things too. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Let me have a little drink of water real quick. Mine's a little dirty because real life, so let me just clean her up for you a little bit. Oops, not my hair. What? Okay, is it just me or is this actually super beautiful? Wow, pretty. What? 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 I was doing so well and then I got tripped up. Okay, refresh, reset. Hit the reset button. I mean, honestly, it looks good. <laughs> Honestly, I look at me. <laughs> okay, let's zoom in. Check in, check in time. Check in time. Wow. You clicked on it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> in the future, when I'm not like demonstrating. <laughs> oh, I really like it. <laughs> okay, calm down. What? <laughs> I'm fine. Did I already say that? I think I just said that. Hmm. So good at this. So that we can know, so, okay. Did my, did I leave my brain in another room? Like, why can't I talk? It's fine. <laughs> I managed to not do my creepy eyebrows. Bye. <laughs> what is this hair? You too good for your home? I'll take that as a yes. Okay, I've been weird enough for one day, so bye.